Alright, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I want to go ahead and do my summer foundation routine. And the reason why I've been loving this look, you guys, is because it's so dewy. But at the same time, you guys know I'm very oily, so I do have a lot of matte products on my face. But you can't really tell because it's a really glowy makeup look. And I really want to go ahead and share with you guys. And I feel like I've been getting a lot of compliments on my base lately. I was like, I have a lot of new products, so let me share with you guys what I've been using lately. So once to go ahead and see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so starting with the skin, I'm using my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer all over my face. You guys know I have been loving this primer, but the reason why I love it is because it's very sticky. Um, but once it's dry, it doesn't, you know, feel that sticky at all. But it makes the foundation and concealer adhere to the skin, and it makes it just, like, stay throughout the day. So I really do love it. And going in with my Wild Style Primer, I'm using that in my T-zone. And I love this because it does control my oils for about 6 to 7 hours. So I have been loving this combo. For orange corrector, I'm using my MAC orange corrector all over my mouth area just because that's where I do have a lot of pigmentation. So I go ahead and put it all over my mouth and usually underneath my eyes. And the reason why I feel like it's very important to put like an orange corrector or some type of corrector on your face is because if your foundation does wear off throughout the day, you still have that underneath there so your skin is not like peeking through or any dark marks or anything like that. So that's why I go ahead and color correct. Now for foundation, you guys, I have been loving the Dior foundation. It's the face and body foundation. And the reason why I'm holding it like that is because if you do shake it with the cap on, it does kind of spill out. I don't know why. So I put my finger on it instead. But this foundation, you guys, looks so nice on the skin. And the reason why I love it is because it is not too heavy on the skin. Your skin kind of does peek through a little bit. So you can go ahead and build it up if you like for full coverage. But for me, I love a medium coverage foundation. And also for the summertime, I do feel like this foundation is perfect because it doesn't feel heavy on the face i don't like wearing a lot of foundation during the summer because i don't like the stickiness and just that heavy feeling so this is a lightweight perfect foundation i want to keep talking about you guys but i'm sure you can tell i love it so much so go ahead and try it out they do have it in sephora and on their website and i've been loving it And when it comes to my foundation, I do drag it on my neck because for some reason my neck is a lot darker than my chest and my face. So I do drag it down a little bit. I know a lot of people don't like doing this, but for me, I don't want to see that contrast between my neck and my chest or my face. So I just go ahead and do this. And moving on to concealer, I'm using my Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the shade ND2. I'm just putting this all over my face. It's a very nice lightweight concealer. It's not heavy at all. And once it's blended out, you guys, it looks so smooth and nice on the skin. So I always use this. I need to find a different concealer, but I feel like this is the only one that really works for my skin. So I just go ahead and use this. And to bring a little bit more color to my face, I'm using my Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Medium. And I'm putting that all over my forehead, on my cheek area, everything like that. I just want to bring more color to my skin. I'm not really contouring with it, you guys. I just go ahead and use it as like a bronzer um, for my skin just to bring some more color to my face. So I'm just doing that all over. And this formula, you guys, is really nice and smooth and easy to work with. Like, it's not like any contour cream I've used out there, which is very hard to blend. This one's very easy to work with, so I really, really do like this. And of course to set my concealer, I'm using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Kanafa. And I'm baking you guys just because when it comes to summertime, I want to make sure I am set for the day. And I really don't want to get oily, so I do bake. And then to brush up all the powder, I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush. I'm just going to brush up all the powder on my face. To set my entire face, I'm using my Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder all over my face. And I've talked about this powder a lot on my channel, but I never showed you guys how I use it. So I'm using my Eco Tools um, Powder Brush, and I'm putting it all over my face. And even though it looks really light, you guys, trust me, once you put it on the face, y'all can tell it just completely disappears. So go ahead and try this powder out. I know at first I was kind of scared to use it, um, but it really does work for my skin, and it just sets my foundation. 
To bronze my entire face, I'm using my Coconati bronzer all over my face from Fenty. And I love this bronzer, y'all, because it's a very nice, smooth bronzer. And it gives me that bronzy look um, that I'm always going for. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my chin, on my forehead. You guys already know. Um, I'm basically going to go ahead and apply it all over. So once I'm done with my bronzer, I usually use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to make sure that all my powder is settled on my skin before I apply my blush and my highlighter and all of that. So I'm just going to spray a heavy amount all over my face um, and I'm just going to fan my face, of course. Okay, so now for a blush, I'm using my Makeup Forever Orange Blush, and I'm not sure what the name is, but I will list it down below. But when it comes to summertime, I feel like you need an orange blush. I just feel like it does something to the face, especially if you do have darker skin. I think it looks so beautiful and nice, so I always go ahead and use an orange blush. So I went ahead and applied too much blush. So I'm using my bronzer brush just to go ahead and diffuse it a little bit. Um, but I'm moving on to highlighter and I use my Artist Couture Conceited Highlighter. And this highlighter, y'all, is so beautiful and nice. I love it so much because it's very shiny and blinding. But at the same time, it looks very natural on the skin, um, which is why I love loose highlighters because they don't look like they're sitting on the skin. It looks like it's coming from within your skin. So I'm going to apply it all over my face. That way I'm very glowy and dewy. Okay, so I almost forgot my Patrick Ta um, Spray Mist Highlighter in the shade We Need Her. And I use this as a way to make my highlighter a little bit more blinding, a little bit more um, dewy and just glowy. So I spray my sponge, of course, and then I just tap into the highlighter that I already placed on my skin. So once I do that, it just makes it very just glow. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I can't talk right now, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Very glowy, dewy, nice, and all of that. So I go ahead and use this. Alright, so last but not least is the lips, and I'm using my NYX Brown Lip Liner all over my lips, and I'm kind of bringing it in a little bit more than usual. I'm making sure that most of my lips is covered because I'm going to go in with my liquid lipstick from Smashbox in the shade Out Loud, and I'm going to kind of blot it on my lips. So, y'all will see in a little bit what I'm trying to say, but I go ahead and put it all over my lips, and then I do blot it. And to finish everything off, I'm using my Urban Decay All Night and Makeup Setting Spray all over my face. And then once I'm done with that, the whole entire look is complete. So I do hope you guys enjoy this. It's very nice and dewy and glowy, but at the same time, we use all matte products. So let me know down below what you think, and I'll see you guys in my next one.